Hi guys, uh, this is the Innovative Minds Twitter. So in this video, we are going to work with MIP 1502, October, November 2022. So let's start with question one, guys. Oh, uh, guys, practice, practice makes it perfect and ensure that you have good sleep today so that uh, you wake up um, fresh in the morning. Because remember, mathematics requires a fresh mind. Right? If you are new to the channel, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe. You only subscribe once. The following diagram shows uh, squares with dots and empty squares that form a pattern. So we are given um, a diagram there. We have dots that are black. We also have uh, boxes or squares. Right? So let's start with uh, uh, this part. The diagram there, you can see that there's a missing part. So at 1.1.1, we have to draw diagram 4. Diagram 4, right? So, hmm, this is, we are looking at question 1 now. 1.1.1. Uh, Let's put that in, into practice, guys. So let's just kindly put that into, into practice. So we have to draw a uh, pattern for what you should consider, guys. It's it's that um, to, pattern four in dots. In terms of dots, remember we have one, three, seven, right? So the difference here it's two, and the difference here it's four. So what will be the difference? Let's uh, here in, in this case we're adding by two. Two plus two it's four plus two that will be six here. Uh, to get uh, this one, okay, to get the par, the, 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 the consecutive uh, term there, we, we, what we did here, it's 1 plus 2, it's 3, 3 plus 4, it's 7, 7 plus 6, uh, that's 13, 13, 7 plus 6, that's 13, then we will have 13, 13, 13 dots there, so we'll have 13 dots. So in terms of um, the square, the square guys, remember, it's uh, we, 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 the numbers are being squared by the, 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 the general term n squared. So for four squared will be will be 16. Remember one squared is one, four, two squared is it's four, three squared is nine, and four squared is 16. So under square, we are going to have 16, 16 uh, squares, right? So let's put that into practice. Okay. Let's draw this part. So I'll just do it like this. Yours, you, you will use a ruler, guys. So let's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? We are going to have six here. So hmm. Remember the dots, the, 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 the dots should be 13. We need to have 13 dots there. So let's go. You draw your boxes. Boxes should be 16. Ensure that they're 16. So I'm having here. Yeah, we'll put a dot. Put a dot. Put a dot. Mm -hmm. Alright. Then. Yours will be accurate, guys. You should use a, a ruler. Not like mine. Hmm. We'll have uh, dots here, dots here, as well as dots here, as well as. We are also going to have a dot here, as well as a dot, a dot. So they should be 13 when you count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 with this one. And the boxes are 16, right? So that's how you can answer the first one, right? So let's uh, go to 1.1.2. So in this case, guys, um, hmm. right, we are heading to 1.1.2. Complete the column for diagrams 6 and 7. So when you complete the, the columns, guys, there, let's start with dots. Hmm. Let's start with dots. Uh, for dots, we will... 
when it, it contains a diagram six and seven uh, for diagram six using this technique here let me calculate it mentally using this technique you will you will continue guys remember this is pattern four pattern five pattern six right at pattern six let's see remember uh, we added by uh, uh, to get to to, to, to this, we said 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2, it's going to be 8. Yeah? That will be part in 5, right? So here we are going to have 10. So let's see what we get at part in 5. 13 plus uh, 8, that will be 21. Uh -huh. So 21 plus 10, that will be 31. Meaning that at dots, the dots at part in 6, at pattern six will be will be thirty one, right? Let's see. What about pattern seven? So we have we are going to have twelve here. So we're going to say thirty one plus twelve. Thirty one plus twelve that will be forty three, right? So this is pattern six in the column six and pattern seven. So you will fill in this box. Yes, meaning that here. We are going to put uh, 31 and 43. Right. Let's go to uh, the squares now. The squares at, uh, at diagram 6, at column 6. Remember squares, uh, they go by the general term n squared. So for what is 6 squared? 6 squared will be 36. Will be 36. And what is 7 squared? Will be 49. So we are done with that. Let's go to 1.1.3. Describe uh, in weights how the number of dots and the number of square increase in each term. Huh. By the look of things, guys, when it comes to 1.1.3, the number of dots uh, increase by a square of the pattern number. They increase by a square of the pattern number. I hope you are noting number of dots increase by a square of the party number so what about the 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 the, the, the what about the the, the 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 squares so in terms of the squares the numbers in the diagram here will increase by the pattern of the number subtracted subtract we subtract the pattern number and the constant of one I'm repeating it again. The number of squares in the diagram here will increase by the square of the pattern subtracted. Subtract the, the pattern number as, uh, uh, by a constant of 1. So that's how we are going to answer 1.1.3. So this one, I'm, go I'm going to write it. You just have to listen carefully and uh, analyze the pattern. Right. So let's go to 1.1.4. Find the algebraic rule in terms of n that determines the number of dots for diagram n. Show all your calculations or work, right? Six marks. Beautiful six marks. So we're looking for the dots, guys. No? We are looking for a general term of a dot. So we have what? 1, 3, 7, 13. So let's go. What is 3 minus 1? That will be 2. 7 minus 4. 7 minus 3, that will be 4. 13 minus uh, 7, that will be 6. What is 4 minus 2? It's 2. 6 minus 4, it's 2. So you name this, the second difference, 2a. Uh, the first difference, 3a plus b. Then the first term, a, b, a plus b plus c. Remember, it's, it forms a quadratic pattern. So in this case, we are going to have 2a, which is equals to 2. Divide everything by a 2, we are going to have 1. So where there is, um, uh, remember you're using this expression now, where there is A, you put 1 there. 3 times 1 plus B is equal to 2. What is 3 plus 1? That would, what, what is 3 times 1? It's 3. Uh, 3 plus B is equal to 2. What is 2 minus uh, 3? That would be negative 1. A plus B plus C equated. That, that, that's a first term. Your first term here, it's 1. You place 1. So you have, uh, uh, your A is 1. Then your b is negative 1 plus c is equals to 1. Then what is 1 minus 1 is 0. Then the other side, if we take 0, 1 minus 0, we're still going to get 1. So in this case, we are going to have tn. So because to remember the formula, it's an squared plus bn. That's a standard formula. So your a, it's 1, so it's going to be n squared. Your b, it's minus 1. We're going to have negative 1, negative n. 
plus C, which is one. So this is the 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 the, the, the general term of the dots. Hmm. Interesting, right? So that's how you can work out uh, number 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 four, number one point one point four. Let's go to one point five now. Hmm. Show that the sum, the n of the dots, the number of dots plus the number of squares is given by the expression 2n squared minus n plus 1. 2 marks is that. We already work out the 6 marks. So that's quite easy, guys. We are, we are adding the, the general terms. For a square, it's going to be n squared. For a dot, we already calculated at 1.1.4. So we are going to say n squared minus n plus 1. So n squared plus n squared, that's 2n squared like terms, n plus 1 in this case. So this hands shown, hands shown, then you have that. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? 1.1.6, which is the last question. That was a free 24 marks. How many squares will be there in diagram 100? Hmm. They're talking about squares. Remember what I told you? The general term of squares, it's n squared. So in this case, we are going to have tn. So equals to n squared. Then we are going to have, um, where there is n, you put 100. 100 squared. What is that, guys? Hmm. Let me take, just take my calculator. 100... Uh, 100 hmm where is my zero there oh it's there 100 squared 10,000 hmm 10,000 squares 10,000 squares that's the end of question one hmm are you prepared yeah, you just have to remember the, 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 the formulas, because uh, in my videos, I did create a linear pattern, quadratic pattern. You can go through those videos uh, as you are reviewing the examination, which is uh, MIP 1502, October, November 2022. So tomorrow, we are writing October, November 2023. Hope you will be prepared, guys. Do not forget to subscribe, like and comment and remember we love you